Hey guys, Django here. Welcome to today's episode of Combat Report in which we are taking a look at our recent video of the P-40s. This is always interesting in the P-40s because it is a plane that is not particularly good at anything. It is a jack of all trades that does everything reasonable. It doesn't excel at anything. But you can transition between roles, it can dogfight a little bit against some of the more dedicated boom and zoomers. It can boom and zoom a little bit, it can energy fight a little bit against turn fighters and so on. So you need to be careful in this plane, but is not lethally unforgiving. It is sturdy, it is reliable, it has good guns at its battle rating and it can do everything a little bit. So you don't have to really keep roles in mind and stuff like that and stick to things very disciplined. You still want to side climb in this plane because it doesn't climb very well. So. Before we start, do make sure to follow me on my other socials like Locals and Rumble. Do make sure to give the video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. Leave me a comment and of course subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Now here we go. We come from our altitude in which we, we reach that altitude by dedicating our time. First five minutes to side climbing. This plane usually isn't the highest plane but when it can function from that point it can excel. Now we're diving on this I-16, we're making a pass, but we miss him, we don't do anything else, we just extend to the next target and try to get a shot in on him. We do get hits as well, but he makes a nice roll to the side, rolls up the after that and we lose him because we go too fast and we compress a little bit in the P-40 of course, so we're taking it up into the vertical trying to energy trap the, uh, this plane. But we have to be careful of other planes around because there is multiple planes within 5 kilometers. So we have to be careful. We're coming over the top with a loop and he did follow us. He stalled out and we've got the kill. Now we are trying to extend here. I did forget my flaps here though. This is not good because it does bleed more of my energy than I supposedly would have lost if I would have put the flaps up again. But I didn't. <coughs> I kept them unfortunately down I should have raised them earlier now I find out I'm like shit so I lost a bit of energy there a little bit of my energy advantage I lost it here so I'm gonna try to pull the E up here try to make him miss him sh his shots I'm angling my plane so he can see only a small profile then I am rolling over to pull up the MiG-3 that's coming in here I couldn't jump on the p40 there because the mig3 was coming my way and i had to make a move on him to evasive maneuvers basically now we still got the e on our tail it's very difficult to stall out a 109e in a p40 because he's better in the vertical but my starting energy despite the flaps being out uh, in a prolonged period was enough to uh, stall this guy out and to give me this nice shot here and we finish him off and then we extend in the opposite direction of where the MiG-3 was the last time I saw him. There he is. He did turn for me, so I made the right decision. Just calmly extending a little bit. See what he does. He turns off immediately, almost immediately, not seeing if he can extend or, um, I mean, the opposite. Catch me um, after a while of flying. The MiG-3 is pretty fast in a straight line. But uh, he turned. And uh, with turning, I uh, was able to uh, close the distance here. I'm in a slight dive and he's in a slight climb, so I'm increasing my speed. He thinks he's increasing his altitude, but I have made so much energy up on him that I am closing the gap rather quickly. It was not a good choice of him to go try to climb while well, I was in a very shallow dive picking up speed with Webb. So I close the distance here, very, he's, in da he's in danger now. Very difficult situation for him. <coughs> I'm just seeing what he does. He's flying towards his airfield, so he could still go into a dive and pick up speed. He's not doing that though, he's still stalling himself out by climbing. And then he turns, and but he's very slow. This is an interesting move. It looks like a, a snap roll, but um, might not be all services. But we do get him. Of course, he's too slow to really maneuver out of this situation. He should have dived. He should have dove in. My god, is that real English? I don't know. He should have put himself into a fairly steep dive when I was at uh, 1.2 kilometers. And he would have probably been able to make it towards the airfield. He didn't do that though, so um, I made use of the speed that the P-40 has. 
kept it fast, didn't try to climb, just tried to close the distance. That is usually a good idea when you're in those kinds of uh, head tails um, confrontations. Now that Kai 49 <laughs> shoots down the 109E with his uh, 7.7s. That's unfortunate. Would have been a nice kill to add to the tally here. <clears throat> but we're going back to the airfield. There's one plane left in this match. We're going to try to see what we can do to get him. We're in a shallow climb here. Always try to gain back a little bit of altitude to maintain the dominant position. Um, yeah, the I-16 did go back to the airfield. Did refresh his guns and stuff like that. And he's coming in. Now this is of course pretty easy if the guy does what he is supposed to do in my eyes and that is keep relatively still and try to come up for me. Which is something you should never do in an I-16. An I-16 is not made for that. It is made to lure people in and play the dogfighting uh, lure. To try to get people to uh, jump you and then turn with you. And it happens a lot that you succeed in that. Of course an experienced pilot like myself or... Uh, you know, most guys who played this game a lot and know the, the basics will never do that. But, you know, you can have a lot of success in an I-16 as I showed in many of my videos on these kinds of planes. But, you know, we, we rolled over, we, we came down on him in his flight path and he actually is coming up for me. So this is the most easy kill and the most, yeah, it's a beginning pilot, I, I can't say otherwise. that You get those kills sometimes. You, I mean, you meet uh, when you get to the amount of time that I spend in this game, you meet more beginners compared to you than you meet um, peers. And of course, the, the peers' confrontations are nice. But this is what, what the, 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 uh, I'm not speaking very well today. I'm sorry about that. Maybe I didn't sleep enough or something. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, but um, yeah, I mean, it, this is what it was like in the in the real wars as well. World War One, World War Two. Only five percent of pilots became an ace and only a small percentage of the aces actually became multiple aces if you know what i mean the the big tallies and and those pilots they became so experienced that you you have what happens to most of us eight nine ten year veterans have right now in the, in the game that you most enemy planes they you can predict what they do usually <coughs> and you can adjust your behavior towards that the danger in that though is when you meet a peer is that you, you become set in your ways and a, a bit um, predictable. Um, and peers can recognize predictable behavior. So yeah, it's just interesting. It's always interesting. So you never never should underestimate somebody and always come in from uh, and the idea that you're facing a top pilot. Anyway, this guy is stalling out. <coughs> we were um, extending a little bit from these two pilots. Apollo and me here, and, we, and there's more to come because there's, uh, as you saw on the horizon there, there is about five, six planes of the enemies that uh, were close to us. I only got a couple of hits on this one, didn't want to follow him too long, so I'm turning off into the opposite direction of that grouping. And <coughs> me and Apollo are now going to extend a little bit and see what they do. Because if we would, you know, confront them or something, we would have five guys jumping us. We don't want that. So we want to extend and see what happens. And often people will peel off. We have, uh, uh, yeah, we have that dot over there and we have the MiG-3 there on altitude. He has a dominating position right now when it comes to energy, that MiG-3. So you just want to let the enemy make a mistake in these kind of situations, right? So that's a bow fighter. So he's going to confront Apollo there. Apollo is the more maneuverable guy there <coughs> in general, but you have to be careful with a bow fighter because it is not such a stiff... Uh, heavy fighter as some of them could be but um, he's handling that situation nicely there and the bow fighter is uh, is uh, extending now this mig 3 is actually right now choosing to dive on apollo so never interrupt when the enemy is making a mistake right this is a huge mistake for me just lost his energy advantage his altitude he still has his speed but if he makes a turn now he's lost everything because the mig 3 is fantastic but it doesn't turn very well keeping its energy in that turn so he does that or well, even though it is a split as he is uh, turning he is maneuvering and he is losing speed and now he gave me the dominant position here so i got to treat that carefully apollo is being confronted by that bow fighter there's another mig 3 i believe coming in as well so this mig 3 is coming up he's very slow and i wanted to finish him off here i do crit him I, i'm not sure what it was 
uh, usually it's the uh, central gear leg, right? <laughs> the other MiG-3 extended away towards other targets in our team, so I'm gonna push this MiG-3 down more, see what he does. He doesn't go and dive for Apollo here. So I'm just checking that MiG-3 one more time. The bow fighter is coming in again. This MiG-3 is diving, I don't want to lose the uh, altitude too much. I'm gonna go for the bow fighter who's attacking Apollo here. You know, and yeah, he's coming up. He's coming up. He probably didn't see me, so this is gonna be an easy kill here. Where he's slow coming up. And this is what you usually have to do by looking around well and positioning yourself carefully and then just waiting. You gotta. Um, that patience, it's one of the major things when you gotta wait until you see the people make mistakes. Don't try to force head ons or put yourself into a disadvantaged position to get one kill and then have three people above you. you you got to be patient and allow the enemy to make their mistakes. Now here again, we're rolling over, we're going in a dive on this guy. I think he was aiming for Apollo here, or maybe he's just AFK, I don't know, or doesn't see me, but fairly little is happening here. I think he's pulling the nose up here for Apollo, for a shot on Apollo. Apollo is over there on the left, but um, yeah, this guy didn't look around. He forgot his situational awareness forgot to see me even didn't check his minimap we could have seen me as well there coming from behind so yeah so that's how you can use a p40 just being patient just taking your time and allow people to make mistakes and then you swoop in come swoop in and use the p40 to its strengths which is its speeds its guns uh, you know the, the, the fact that it can transition between roles very easily and does everything reasonably well nothing exceptional but you know it's decent here we go, this guy was actually landing, this is a beginning mistake again. He's making a mistake, he's landing on the airfield with no AAs, because this is a non-functional airfield on this map. It, it doesn't repair you, it doesn't do anything, and he was trying to land on that, so that was... Yeah, again, beginner mistake, but you gotta make use of that, right? There's still three planes in the game here, and, and we can still get a few kills on the P40 here, on the four kills, add to the tally, but there's other people in the match as well, and, you know... You don't always get it, which is unfortunate. <laughs> Some other people can aim as well and, and, and get, get those kills. So yeah, I'm, I just wanted to show that other people do stuff as well. But uh, the P40, man, it is a stable platform. I love the P40s. Um, I want to stretch uh, the use of patience when you're flying a jack-of-all-trades plane that, that doesn't excel in anything. You've got to be extremely careful and your decision-making and your situation awareness have to be on point to uh, be successful in this plane. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I want to thank you all for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye. If you're new here, make sure to hit the subscribe button, become part of this community. If you are already a subscriber, don't forget to like the video, do leave me a comment. And if you really feel like helping out today, make sure to share the video with your friends and let them know about the channel.